Hey guys, thanks for watching the next video in the Do More with Click Tips and Tricks Edition series. In the last few videos, I showed you how to parse a field that contained a JSON-like structure and turn it into its own table, as well as how the associative difference can uncover data quality and dirty data issues that you might need to further transform. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a very simple drillable map utilizing multiple layers. Before we continue, please be sure to visit the Click Learning portal at learning.click.com for all your personalized and structured learning needs of what Click has to offer. Here you can select from both free and subscription-based content, instructor-led training, skills assessments, and robust video tutorials. Check out the video tour on the main page to get started. Okay, so let me first show you a completed example. Here we have map of the world and we're looking at sales and order counts utilizing an area map. And we're looking at this information highlighted by the number of orders per country. So let's select the United States and then I'm gonna confirm the selection and you're gonna see it drills into the states where there are orders. And we can see the different order counts. In this case here we have 97 orders from California. Let me click on California and as I confirm that selection, it drills into a point level showing the different cities and the different order counts there. So let me show you how I created that. So we're going to start this off from scratch so you can see the whole process. So first, let's go in and create a new sheet. Now we have a blank canvas. I'm going to click on edit sheet. And for this, you will have to be in the advanced options area. You can see I already am. And now I'm going to go to master items. Now I already have the dimension here created called country prov drill. I'm just gonna create a new one so you can see it from scratch. I always like showing you exactly how it's created from start to finish. So what I'm gonna do is create a new dimension in master items. And this dimension is going to be a drill down dimension. Basically it's hierarchical, it allows you to go from different levels. And you've seen this before, you should have seen this before. It's very simple to allow you to click on a chart and go into the different levels that you select. So the first thing I'm looking for is country code. So I just click country code. And then the next level I'm going to look for in this case is called province in this data, which is substantial for country provinces and states in the US, etc. So I'm going to choose province or I could choose province code. It depends on what your data is set up for. In this case, I'm just going to choose province. Now I'm going to click on the expression formula editor. And what I'm going to do is this may not always be necessary in your data, but it depends on how the data structure is set up. We want to fully qualify this because there are certain province names or codes that can match up to other countries, for example. Okay. So for example, for the province Montana or state Montana, um, it could be a state in the United States or it could be a province in Bulgaria. Uh, so this just assures that the appropriate country code is fully qualified. Again, this is not always necessary. However, it's a little tip and trick that you might need to do with your data. So to do that, I'm just going to put a ampersand symbol, which is a concatenation operator and a single quote, a comma, a single quote, and then another concatenation symbol, and then the country code. I'm just going to start typing and you can see the autocomplete allows me to select. So now we have province and country code click apply. And then I want to drill into city and that's going to be the next level. So I just click city and I'm going to do the same thing with the formula editor where I fully qualify this dimension. So for city, it's then going to go ampersand, single quote, comma, single quote, ampersand province. And then once again, ampersand, single quote, comma, single quote, ampersand country. And here I'm just going to use country code. So that fully qualifies those values. And then I'm going to give it a name and we're just going to call this one new country drill, just so it's distinct from the other and click create. Okay. So that's creating a dimension. I did a video also on creating dimensions uh, and measures. I don't think I covered drill down at all, but some of this should be familiar to you already. If not, just refer to the other videos in the series. So what I'm going to do here is just so you can see how the drill down dimension works. I'm just going to use a very simple bar chart 
and I'm going to add a measure and we're just going to look at order numbers and we're going to just select count of order numbers. And then from our master items, I'm going to grab the new country drill. And you can see it starts out with the United States, Canada, etc. So let's just go into quick analysis mode. Now watch what happens when I choose the US. Now it goes into the different states and you can see the fully qualified states. And then if I select California, you can see the cities. Okay, very, very simple to do. Now I'm just going to convert this into a map. Actually, you know, instead of converting it to a map, let's just actually just drag the map so you can see it from scratch. So there's our map. And now we're going to add a layer. So the first layer we're going to add is an area layer. Now there are a number of different layers here. Perhaps I'll cover each of these uh, in other videos in this series. Now the area layer is basically what is also known as a choropleth map. Basically you see the boundaries of the different borders and states highlighted. So after we add the layer, we need to add the dimension. So I'm just going to select the new country drill dimension. And you'll see that the map will highlight with all of the areas that have data within the database. These are all the countries that have that supporting data. Now for colors, it's right now just a single color, but we can select by measure. And if we had one set up in our master items, we can select it or we can just define it directly in here. And I'll just choose order number again, and we can say account of order number. We can choose the different classes or gradients for the color scheme if we wish, change opacity, etc. Okay, so now let's just go into analysis mode and watch what happens with the default drill down. If I click the United States, now it shows me all the states. If I click California, it now shows me either these are the counties or the different boundaries for where those cities are located, but it's not the actual point of that city. This is something we don't want. So let me show you how to adjust this. With the selections maintained, we can go into edit sheet and we can go into our area layer, which we are in already. And you'll notice there's an options tab and then there's a layer display and you're going to see a switch visible drill down levels. Let's make that custom. And then we could only choose the levels that we want to see when we're performing our drill down. We want to see country and we want to see state, which is the province code and country. We don't want to see the city as an area layer. So we uncheck that and you can see that goes away. Okay. Very simple. Now what we can do is go back to our layers and we're going to add a new layer and this time we're going to add a point layer. And for the dimension, we're going to select the same new country drill. And now you're going to see our points display, but we're not done yet because first we want to make, for example, the size of the particular point, maybe for the measure. So we can select our order number count. And we can change the shape if we wish. I'm just going to leave them as a circle. And you can see the different sizes depicting the different orders. We can change the color if we want to. Maybe we'll just make it a nice blue. Outline edge. Opacity if we wish, etc. Still not done because we can go to options, visible drill down levels. And then we don't want these to display at the first two levels. So I'm going to show you what that looks like when we clear our selections. So now it's representing, remember you're doing a drillable dimension. So it's now representing the country as a point. Okay. We don't want that. We only want the points when we drill in further. So what we're going to do is we're going to uncheck country. Just go back. If we drill into the United States, you're now going to see points on all of the countries. Now this is good if you want to represent other metrics in that state. So you can basically measure two different numeric values and display them differently um, within the dimensions. But in this case here, we're only doing the drill down. So we'll go back in and we'll uncheck province country code. And now we're done. And there we go. There's a lot more you can do with this. It's a very powerful capability. Um, also adding tool tips and multiple measures and all that other stuff. Um, I can cover that in future videos in this series. But that's all I wanted to show you. Basically just show you how to create a very simple 
multi-layer drillable map uh, utilizing a master item and dimension, uh, as well as showing you the different options for the visible layers so you can control the zoom and what values and areas are displayed when zooming in. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next video. Take care.